If you want to create a video game with characters in Unity, you almost certainly need animations. Unity allows to easily interact with animations in the animator window. To open this window, you need to click on Window and Animator and this is more or less what you will see. What you will need first is a character and some animations. I'm using some animations and the default female character from Mixemo.com. If you have the character and you need some high quality animations, Mixemo is the place for you because it allows to easily import your model and use their animations for free. If you need a character too, no problem, you can use Fuse and easily create a high quality character completely for free. This can really be a life saving thing if you are a broke indie developer. Now, once you have your animations imported, put your character in the scene, like this, and add an animation component. In this case, it's already there. The next step is to create in the project section an animator controller by right clicking Create Animator Controller. You can rename it if you want, but I already created one here. What you need to do now is to go to the animator panel and add some animations. You can easily do it by dragging them inside and the entry has a transition there by default but all the others are our job. You can also change the default animation if you want. So let's start and right click on the idle animation and make a transition leading to walking. If we click on the transition, you can see all the characteristics of the transition. For now, we will uncheck has exit time. I will remind about this later. Now we have to add a condition down here to make the transition happen. For example, we want to activate a walk animation only when one key is pressed. For a condition, we need a parameter here. If you don't see this part, make sure that this eye here is open and not closed because it will hide the parameter section or the layer section. We go to the parameter section, let's press add. Here we can choose the type of parameter we need. In this case, we need a bool, let's name it is walking. Now on the transition we created earlier, we can add a condition with the plus right here and set it to is walking true. This means that every time from the idle animation the variable is walking turned to true, the character will start to walk. Now we have to be sure that when we want our character to stop walking, it will actually stop walking. So let's create another transition from walking back to idle and create a condition with is walking false. This means that every time from the walking animation is walking will turn to false, it will activate the transition to idle. Be sure that in the transitions, in this case, there is has exit time unchecked and that the transitions don't make too much time. I will not add other animations now, but you can add as many animations as you want. I think that this approach is really good because it really allows a deep control to when the animation is played. Now we have to create a script to control the is walking value or a player controller. Let's create a script called player controller and add it to the player in the scene. Now let's open the script and type a couple of things. We first need a reference to the animator and then we will check if the spacebar is pressed or not. Now let's see the results and as you can see it's easily changing from idle to walking animation. As I said earlier you can add as many animations and transitions as you want and create an easy to control personalized charter with perfect animations. Thank you for being here, I hope you liked this video, leave a comment below, subscribe and see you next time, bye bye!